Today we've got the school admission registers. So these are a bit of a treat. We have school admission registers for New South Wales public schools. We haven't got every admission register ever, ever created and we don't have them for all schools, but we certainly have quite a range and we hold a lot more for the 20th century than we do for the 19th century. All the registers pretty much look the same and give us the same kind of information. Um, so what you'll find in here is the boys on one side, the girls on the other, their ages, their religious denomination, and then you get some details of the parents. So we know the names, residents and occupations of the parents who enrolled their children or the, their guardians. Uh, then we find the date of admission for each class. So as the child moves up through the school, it tells us the date that they achieved that level of education. Uh, it tells us the date that the child left the school and the reason why they left the school. So we get a lot of information about each student going through. All of our registers are listed in collection search in our catalogue. So they're by the name of the school. So in this case, Long Ridge and then I would say admission register. So Long Ridge admission register should find you this register. You can't search by the name of the student because they're not indexed. You need to know the name of the school that the child attended in order to find these registers. And then it's a matter of working through the enrolments to see if you can pick their name up. We know that um, sometimes for people who are looking for um, confirmation of citizenship in Australia, that these records can be quite useful. Um, but again, you need to know the name of the school that was attended and a rough time period. These are records that I'd highly encourage you to have a look at if you're researching children who went to school. So check to see if we do have one for that particular area for the date that you're seeking. And then it's a matter of actually popping into the reading room.